All right, so you guys want to know what I do sometimes. I go searching for a body of water. This time it is not panned out. I'm in a very, 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 very sticky situation. I didn't even think I was going to turn on the camera today. I'm in a pretty kind of, we'll just say, ugh, I'm in a pretty bad mood. I'm uh, stuck in the middle of this. Stuck here. Lake's there. There's huge rocks over here, trees, and I keep running into it. Already messed up my trailer. So basically I'm having a very, very, very bad day. I've been out here for about two or three hours already, and I can't, I have no clue how I'm gonna get out of this predicament right now. I have no cell service. There's no service. I've tried calling Sarah and Jimmy. This is gonna be an interesting day. I don't know how are we gonna get ourselves out of this mess, because I'm kind of jackknifed. So the thing is I'm jackknifed somewhat, not really. That tree I keep hitting, but I can't get the boat out of this area. Google Maps, you failed me once again. This time you failed me pretty bad. I thought I might be able to put the boat in, and this is not, this is when you need a kayak. Boat is, see this is what happened this morning already. Oh look, hit one tree. Drilled another tree. I feel like I'm having like one of these paracmos. See this is, this is so bad, look at this. This is, this is where we're sitting. Tree, boat, super not good. At least I'll take you guys along on the bad days as well. All right, so we got this mashed down. Now we gotta get this rock probably out of the way. The only problem I have right now is the fact this rock will probably have a snake under it. Okay, attempt number one. This is exactly what we're gonna do. Back this thing up some more, pull the truck this way, drive up over this rock, and try to get around this tree. Now the thing is, is I still have to go back out this way. So no matter what, I need to get down to that area, turn around, and come back. I am so glad I brought my stuff so you guys can join me on this adventure. We just need to get out of here. My hands all, hands all messed up. Always carry, probably would have helped to have the ax end on this, but whatever, this is mainly just for dogs or people. Okay, so that didn't work. All I did was uh, bottom out the, the bottom of my truck really, 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 really bad. Like, when I mean really bad, I bottomed out pretty bad. But on a good note, pretty positive I have skid plates. What to do now? What to do now? How do we move giant rocks? That... How do I move a giant rock? This takes me back to selection right here. How to get over problems. How to get over problems. Can I take the trailer off the truck and push it and just hope that it goes down the hill in the right direction? Yeah, I think I could do that. Do I think this is a good idea? I don't know. I don't really think I have too many other options right now. Um, good thing is, is my pistols are getting the barrels painted right now, so I don't have a gun on me. I'm just hoping that this comes off without running into my truck. That's one thing I am kind of worried about is lifting the sucker up coming down the hill and hitting my truck. But, you know what? We don't have a lot of options here. I'm gonna put rocks underneath the tires because I think that's about to happen. Ooh. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of, so I've got to get it around the corner. <laughs> this is, oh. This is 110% something that would happen to Peric. I mean, look how big these rocks are. Like, where the hell am I? Okay, now hear me out. This is, this is my plan for how I'm going to get this boat out of here. So it's up there on the hill. It is wedged up there in the trees. I want it to come. I'm going to get it around to come down. Somehow going to attach it back up. Drive that way. Back it up into here. Pull forward and then... I don't know. Maybe I should walk more down this road. That's you know what? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk down this road because there there could be something down here that would just maybe maybe it turns up into another road. We are we are 110 percent just like the episode the other day. We are in snake country for sure out here where I'm walking. All right, just getting back to the truck. There is absolutely nothing on the end of this road. It turns into more woods. Uh, the road disappears. This is one of those type of times where I tell myself you you never never fear anything. But I always tell myself, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, no gun, 
in a hunk of wood. A lot of odd things could happen in the woods when you're alone, especially when you're stuck. Like the only way out is, is that way. Alright, they push it anymore. No bueno. What to do, what to do, what to do. All right, so we ran out, of, ran out of options. I can't get this thing by myself. I have to call for help. So with that being said, we've got to go on a pretty long hike, I believe, because I don't have any service. And the last time I remember I had service was probably like two or three miles up the road. I've got to walk until I have some service so I can call a buddy that's probably working. Hopefully, gosh dang, sucks. This is a Monday. Just thought about that. So everybody's going to be working. So I may be stuck out here for a few hours. Uh, this is... This is an interesting adventure you guys are on right now. Made it to a field. Hello. Jimmy. Yo. Please tell me you can get off work right now. I cannot. I am in Texas. That's really far from me. That's like four hours from me. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh. I am uh, stuck in the middle of the woods. Update on my life. Still in the wheat field. Uh, waiting on a phone call. Uh, it's been 30 minutes now. Jimmy is five hours away. My other buddy that's about an hour north of me is on a 24 hour fire duty because he's a fireman. So I am uh, pretty much screwed at this point. I don't know, I really don't know what we're gonna do. And that's not me just being dramatic for the camera. I absolutely have no clue what I'm gonna do right now. So we're about 40 minutes deep. Uh, we, I got a hold of somebody, a friend of a friend, that might be able to come out here with a chainsaw. Uh, he doesn't know if his works. So that could be a bad thing, but I I don't have any more cell service. It kind of just like disappeared on me. So I'm going to have to head up this that hill over there. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is, like I said earlier, I am in snake country. So and that is another reason why we have a bat. I don't really know how much that's going to help me out, but it's comforting, I guess. We made it back over to the boat, but I just realized something. So the old, the guy, he's bringing down a chainsaw, which is fantastic, but this tree I don't know if we're going to be able to cut it down to where it doesn't go towards my truck. Like this is a really... Okay, we're back to square one. I got the truck off. My forearms are burning me. I can tell this is... I haven't worked out like this in a long time. This is a huge issue. This is probably big issue number one. Big issue number two is these rocks right here I've been trying to move. I've got one of them kind of, kind of pushed back. This one is too heavy for me and that one's also way too heavy. Now we just got to figure out what we're going to do here. I did, I, it is going to make it through right here. It will, if it comes straight. And I really messed up my hand pretty good. I'll check up with you guys here in a little bit. We're going to, I'm going to get back to work trying to get this thing out of here. And I have come to the conclusion that this is the dumbest thing I have ever, ever done in my entire life. Right, this is, this is up there in like top 10 or top two. Top two, I don't know what else beats this one. Uh, someone is coming right now. Now it's a Nissan. I have no clue what that is not what in the world is going on here. I wonder if they realize they're not gonna be able to get through. Yep, they're just sitting there staring at me. This is gonna be an awkward situation, I think. Actually, I'm very positive this is gonna be an awkward situation. You guys can see them there, right, right there behind my truck. And I'm not even gonna move, walk down there and let them come up here because I got a, I got my bat next to me. He, the, guy, the guy that just pulled up, he, he noticed something that I'm going to have an issue with as well. Is this tree that's, that's over the top of my boat. If we go to cut it down, it's going to fall on my boat. So now we got to figure out how we're going to tie off the top of it to give it some tension to pull it that way. But he wasn't expecting anybody about here you know, or anybody to be on this trail for that matter. Uh, yeah, I don't know who that is. It's just a random guy trying to fish this, this lake as well, I guess. Apparently there's more ponds up that way. Okay, that gentleman that showed up has a rope. I'm going to try to create some sort of pulley system now. See if I can get this working. So all we gotta do is get it past that one tree and we're good. Now to find a tree. All right, we got the rope set up. Here's some sort of, some sort of pulley. So we gotta go around that tree back there to here. Oh, please work, please work. Oh, oh wow, it parked perfect. Uh. You guys ready to see if this works? Boat, rope, rope. 
Well, that pulley system worked. We got to pass the tree. Now we got another issue. Uh, that's bent. I gotta do this. Now we got to tie it up to the front because we got to get this straight. The only thing I'm really worried about is this thing running into the back of my, my truck. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna stick you guys right here. Thank God these things are cheap right here. That thing is completely destroyed. So now we're getting closer, we're like a step and a half closer. Now we, we needed to come over a little bit more. But I'm so worried it's gonna just slam right into the back of the truck. Thank you to the older gentleman that showed up randomly in the middle of the woods with a rope, because we are now out and clear. But we got a couple more things we gotta do. All these sticks, all these sticks have to go or I'm not gonna make it. All these rocks, I have to dig them all up because that's not gonna work. And this is basically, I gotta go back up through here. Now I'm still not 110% in the clear because I got, still gotta get around, God, I've tore this whole area up. I dug up all these giant rocks. See those rocks way down there? All these rocks? Yeah, I dug all those up. But we gotta come up through here. I gotta drive the truck. The front of the truck has to come up here. Barely miss this tree because I still have to get by this tree to get the hell out of here. We've got a lot to do still. Thank God I was good at log PT in the army. Now he's gotta go move some rocks. These are the rocks I'm talking about. Are they able to move? Get out of here, rock. It's gonna be tricky. Here we go again. Exactly what I thought was gonna happen did happen. And now uh, now I have no clue what, how. This is worse than last time, cause I can't, I don't know. Cause this, I mean, I can't take the boat off. I can't take the trailer off the truck. That thing is completely bent up. And the guy that was supposed to come here and help me hasn't, hasn't showed yet. He was supposed to be here about two hours ago. All right, I am on my iPhone right now. I am walking. I've been walking for about two miles now. I heard a tractor and now it's farther away. I'm gonna go see if that tractor can help me. But it keeps getting farther away and farther away. This is a real, real crappy day. I'll tell you guys what. I hear it. I hear a tractor. I don't know who that is, but I'm gonna ask for help. All right, well those guys are gonna kindly come down and, and see my situation. Let's hope, hopefully we can get the hell out of here because I am really thirsty, really thirsty. All right, we're back at the truck. Just a second ago, you guys saw that I met up with a guy that had a tractor. I found a guy with a tractor. He's gonna go back and grab it now. So we're still in somewhat of a predicament because this tree, this one that has been the hassle the entire day, this one right here, it's leaning this way. So it's like a, there's a slight chance that my truck may or may not get hit by falling limbs. I just want to get out of here at this point. Um, my trailer's messed up. It's like three or four in the afternoon. And I kind of want to get home since we got kind of a drive ahead of us anyway. The chainsaw, you just took a dump. And now the chainsaw won't work. I had some Peric stuff going on with my lens, but that guy's going to be nice enough to grab his tractor, his bulldozer because he, he said he's gonna take him a while to get here, but that's fine. He got halfway through the cut and his uh, chainsaw just took a dump and will not turn back on. That's the kind of day we're having today, people. You know, I just realized this entire episode has been filmed in this one 20 foot ses like section of this, this entire land, all this land and it's filmed in this one area of me being stuck. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be really mad if this one tree right here, little sucker, doesn't uh if i get stuck somewhere else along the way then i'm probably going to want to throw my camera in the water 
But you know what's a good note? Is tomorrow will be a better day no matter what. Oh yeah, and one other fact that that fine gentleman told me is that there is a ton of mountain lions around here. And I've been just strolling just by myself. Just not, no, with no, just, nah, whatever, I don't care. I knew there might have been pigs and stuff. That's why I was carrying this and like anything else. But I had no clue that there was mountain lions around here. And he said there's a, a very large abundance of mountain lions. Never fear anything. That's like, that's my motto now. I'm, I'm gonna stick to it too, never fear anything. That is one way to get a tree down, holy crap. Whoa. All right, it is now 4.53. We are making our way out of the woods. We are headed back up that and that three mile hill we had to do earlier this morning. Um, glad I didn't get to put a line in the water, but tomorrow, tomorrow we're gonna, we're gonna fix the issues that we had today. We're not ever going to have to rely on somebody else to get me out of any such sticky situation ever again. Learn something new today and learn something very valuable. Don't be an idiot. Don't rely on anybody else for something. Well, there goes a whole bunch of scrapes down the side of my truck. Well, we're, we're on the road, as you can clearly tell. Finally, we're completely out of the woods. We're on the main highway. I'm pretty kind of like, eh. this is kind of an interesting day, but I'm, I more or less want to see the damage to the trailer and the truck. Because when I get it to the house, I'm actually going to crawl around. I know both fenders on the, on the trailer were completely smashed in because I already had to bend those out so they didn't shred the tires. And one of the lights was ripped off. Uh, the crank, as you guys saw, is completely destroyed. So other than that, this day cost me a lot of money and I learned one hell of a lesson. So I guess I'll see you guys at the house so we can assess the damage of my idiotic day spent in the woods. Change of plans tomorrow, we are actually going to Lake Fork. I had a guy text me. Um, that lake's been turning over apparently for the last like two weeks. I don't go out to Lake Fork very often, but he lives out there and he's like, dude, he's good, it's good. So I'm going out to Lake Fork tomorrow. And then Wednesday we're going fishing with Optic Tex. But I just thought I would throw that out there so you guys know. Today was supposed to be fishing, tomorrow's fishing, the day after that. The rest of the week is only fishing. That's all I'm doing pretty much the rest of the week. So, which is pretty freaking awesome. Pretty awesome. Now let's get to the house so we can see, like I said earlier, the damage that I did in the woods. Shooting on the cannon right now. We, we made it over here with strips of the gun. Chicken of the strips of the gun. Guns and chicken strips, son. I need it. We're about to go to Academy because I got to pick up one of the, uh, that, that one of the things that I messed up on the boat. It's not as bad as I was expecting the boat. It's got a ton of scrapes and everything up on the side, but it doesn't really matter because this week the Hello Kitty wrap is getting done. So it's kind of like, meh, you know, it's not that big of a deal. What in the world? Oh, but tomorrow is going to be fun because I'm going to be fishing all day on Lake Fork and I got to be there in 12 hours from now when I still got to edit this video. So it's going to be a nice, beautiful late night for me, for you guys. That's fixed. Thank God. This isn't actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. We made it back. This is it. This is where we're going to end this video. It is 9 o'clock. i got to get up in a couple hours. We're going to be fishing Lake Fork tomorrow. All day. Going to get there, sun up, the sun down. Thank God we're out of the woods. <laughs>